Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And guys, in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and simple solution that I figured out to add some wind resistance to these Ozark Trail Instant Up Tents. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, last month we went up to Lake Mendota, stayed a week up there chasing giant channel catfish. And instead of staying at the hotel this year, we opted to go camping. And we purchased one of these Ozark Trail 16 foot by 16 foot 3 room instant up tents. Now, guys, I'm not going to do a full review on this tent video. If that's something you'd like to see, leave me a comment. I'll try to work that one in. But... Uh, one of the things that happened to us, the day we put this tent up, we were experiencing some very high winds up at Lake Mendota. And I'm talking winds in excess of 20 miles an hour, gusting close to 40. And uh, we got the tent all up, got it all staked down, ran into town to get some food and supplies, and we come back to this. And as you can see, one whole wall of the tent has collapsed on itself. Uh, we put that back up, got it all put back together, chalked it up to maybe we didn't have the instant up clips pulled all the way out and locked fully into position. And about another hour, we had another heavy wind gust and the problem repeated. So we dealt with that most of the day while I tried to come up with a solution. And uh, being away from home, sometimes that runs into trouble. You have to think on the fly. And we made a trip to the local hardware store up there, picked up a few supplies. I'm going to show you what I used to fix this. We didn't have any more problems with the tent afterwards. And I think it cost us a total of about $5. So let me go ahead and show you what we're going to use. I'll show you how to apply it and add some windproofing to your tent. To complete this project, you will need a section of rubber heater hose and two hose clamps. You'll need two clamps for each tent pole you reinforce. Step 1. Cut a section of heater hose to a length of approximately 4 inches. Step 2. Carefully cut the heater hose down one side lengthwise. This will allow you to slip the hose onto the tent support rod. Step 3. With the rod locked into position, slip the hose over the inner rod. Place hose clamps over the hose and tighten, being careful not to crush the inner rod. Once both the hose clamps are tightened, the friction between the heater hose and the rod will keep gusty winds from overpowering the plastic locking tabs. In fact, the day after I fixed this tent, we experienced severe thunderstorms at Mendota. The tent weathered it without any issue. Repeat this process for each rod you wish to reinforce. Remember to remove the clamps and hose before disassembling your tent. Alright guys, well that's going to bring us to the end of this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have an instant up tent, I hope this video helps you out. If it has, give me that thumbs up button. Appreciate that. It helps move me up into YouTube algorithm. If you're checking me out for the first time, hit that subscribe and the little bell next to it. That'll give you a notification every time I post a new video or go live. This little trick pretty much saved our trip up there at Mendota. At least saved us a bunch of headache of having to uh, continuously get up and raise the wall of the tent. And uh, it's cheap, it's easy, it's effective. And that's what I try to do with these short tip Saturday videos. So, guys, that's all I've got. Appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.